How's it going guys? We're here for our big monthly Rust update. So if you missed my video from a few days ago, I kind of showed the basics how puzzles work. I'll go ahead and show that again. That led a lot of you to asking, well, are you going to do guides on showing the full puzzles? And uh, the answer to that is yes. I am. I plan on doing, uh, I have a Rust tutorial series so far. There's only two ones, uh, how skins work and how to sell, buy, uh, make skins, all that kind of stuff. And then my other one shows the basics of, for new people of how to start, you know, farming. Uh, but for that series, I'm going to cover every rat town. The thing is, they're still kind of changing uh, and so forth. So I'm going to wait till they're finalized and so forth. There's going to be new puzzles. So I'll probably do updated versions when the new puzzles come. That's probably a long way off. But uh, yeah, I'll slowly put them out. It'll be one video per uh, big monument. And then I'll probably cluster the smaller stuff together. And uh, yeah, so if you want to kind of look at the details of one working, definitely check out that other video. But uh, yeah, we've got quite a few cool things to go ahead and cover today. And uh, let's kind of start talking about the monument puzzles uh, kind of halfway through. First, I'm going to show a few other little things. So here at the scientist compound, there's a little bit of a change and you will see there's now underground tunnels, which are pretty cool. And it, it's a little patrol route for the scientists. You'll see they're running around down here. And uh, it doesn't really serve any purpose other than a different way in and out of the actual monument. Uh, you'll see that there's a tunnel that uh, leads right... So this one? Yep, right here. And it pops out over here inside this back corner so yeah that's kind of cool there's uh, one other little entrance as well which i'll let you guys figure out a another neat thing is uh the wetsuit has seen its kind of final iteration you'll see right here it's uh gotten some updates it's not a hundred percent live i don't think but uh yeah it, it's got all the appropriate parts attached to it. it's a little more updated <laughs> as they said your immersion won't have to be broken anymore. So yeah, there we go. Uh, there is the new scuba gear, which is pretty neat. And uh, with this talk of the monuments and stuff like that, there's actually some really awesome pictures here of the Bandit Town. The Bandit Town should be making it into next month's update. It still needs all the AI and you know gameplay stuff put to it, but overall its look is pretty done. Now, in regards to the swamp biome, it uh, isn't going to be an actual biome yet, but if things go well, uh, they have s Damien has said that he will go and, you know, make little swamp sections around the map, and they'd be buildable areas kind of like the ice lakes in the snow. So I thought that was pretty cool. There's some, you know, little bogs and swamps that might pop up eventually. But for now, they're just working on getting that bandit town done. It looks amazing. I love these pictures. It, it is, it's really great. And, uh, I, yeah, I can't wait to see it in game. It's one of the things I'm probably the most excited for. Now, some of you might be sitting here saying, Oh, you know, Gary, he blah, 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 this and fire Hulk and nah, 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 nah. And that's because a lot of people <laughs> were really mad about the patch being pushed a week. Well, for everyone saying, Oh, there's five weeks for the patch, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, two of those weeks, Helk was gone getting married and being on his honeymoon, and then he instantly came back, and literally that night, started working on the electrical puzzles. I had no idea that uh, he got married, and I was bugging him even that day, asking him about the new monument puzzles. So, it, Rust is such a dedicated team. All those people out there giving them so much shit. I mean, the uproar yesterday, because the patch was pushed, like, 14 hours, so that they didn't put crap out to us. Ah. Uh, I mean, come on guys, wouldn't you rather have something that works properly and that the game devs feel good about releasing than them just giving us garbage on time? Like, I, I just don't understand it. And I know a lot of those people complaining are the vocal minority, but man, I just kind of had to do a little bit of a rant there. Be nicer to the devs. There's not a lot of teams that release monthly updates like this and, you know, interact with the community and listen as much as they do. It it's just not something you really see. Another additional change is the Spaz-12 shotgun has been buffed up to 137 damage. So with its fire rate, it shouldn't 
be worse than the pump anymore so that's a nice thing a lot of people said hey you know this gun is cool and all but it really sucks uh and i think the new changes to it will make it a much more valuable weapon within the game uh, you know everything weapon wise still needs some balances and pushes and this and that but uh it, it's definitely cool to see them always adjusting things and i mean it means they're listening so that's something really awesome there so monument puzzles what are they what do i need to know about them how do they work well so the rad towns have things around them now like this right here and this guy is going to be taking a let's see when we get into it here there's electrical fuses that you'll now find as loot so once you've put a fuse in here you'll see it stops sparking and you can now activate a switch this one is a timer you see how it has a little timer going and for that short time now you can access the key card or whatever it may be so now i've restored some power to the military tunnels and now what i want to do is go and look for that key coded door so that i can actually get to it now there's three different key cards there is green blue and red that is in their uh order of you know i guess uh rarity is what we should say and uh yeah so we're going to go and kind of check that out right here but while we're doing that and i'm talking about that scientists and ai in general have gotten an update they now respond differently depending to whatever kind of weapon you're taking out uh, what you might be doing the kind of noises you're making and they'll react appropriately to that so you'll see a significant change in the ai and their functionality which is pretty neat in regards to how the key cards work a lot of time a green key card will get you into a blue room and a blue room will have key cards that get you into a red room so as you loot uh, you can kill scientists for them. You can buy the blue key cards from the scientist outpost, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, you can also find them. Like, for instance, once you get into a blue room, you might find a red key sitting on a desk there, thus allowing you to continue to the next area. All the monuments have pretty much been updated, like military tunnels where there's stuff everywhere, there's obstacles, and they just look really great i can't wait to show those off in their own separate videos uh, in addition to those changes hapis has also seen the adding of oh adding of the military tunnels and uh that is actually a really cool thing that not military tunnels sorry scientist compound which is really cool and they will soon also be having the uh new things that are being added into here such as the monument puzzles it should be updated there there's the new listening post added to it as well so you want to make sure you uh go ahead and check that out happens has got some amazing update alistair has been doing a great job there and you can check out uh, my second to last video for more information on that but as you'll see here this is a blue door so you come up to it with a blue key card but it doesn't do anything well this doesn't work unless it is lit up blue it won't let you through now, if you do go ahead... Oh, hi there, buddy. Yep, bet you're a little scared about how I got in here. Uh, no matter what, you can always press the button on the inside to get back out. So even, you know, if you're locked in or whatever it may be. As you'll see here, here's a red door. So to progress to the next area, we actually need a red key. And nothing over here has that. Once you get into this next area... Come on, scientists get out of here this is where it starts to kind of get interesting so you can see this is another alternate way in these are the awesome cloning chambers sitting in here so yeah cloning chambers that's very interesting right i think it is but as we wander around there is an abundance of loot usually but for some reason i don't know why this isn't working so, you know what, we're going to fly to a different rad town and uh, talk about that there. Here at Power Plant, we've got the perfect example. So, you'll find this. This is a generator. You turn it on, and it should restore power. Nothing fancy or extra little dots to it. And you'll see, as I said, the card reader lights up. You can now swipe the card, and the door will open. And in we go. We now have access to the locked out area. There's, uh, you know, desk, like I said, usually have a chance of a key card. You can access the recycler now. And it, it looks like I'm still having a bug here where loot isn't really showing up. So that's kind of interesting. I'm going to try to fly around, see if I can't find it. 
But basically, a lot of the loot you know uh, pretty well is all pretty much where it used to be. Uh, a few things have shifted here and there, but these key carded areas are bonus loot, and there's quite a bit. There's a lot of green crates and everything, so I'm going to try to see if I can find an example of that for you. So we're going to head on over here and work on this other puzzle. But while we do that, uh, I'm going to kind of talk about the tiers of it. So there's the basic tier, which grants access to green cards. That is the gas station, junkyard, lighthouse, and supermarket, okay? Then there's the easy tier, which grants access to the blue cards, which would be harbor, harbor uh, two, satellite dish, and sewer branch, okay? Uh, so those are going to be the ones you're working with there, which is pretty cool. Medium tier gives you access to red and sometimes other cards. So that's going to be power plant, airfield, train yard, water treatment. And then there's a hard tier, which gets you access to elite crate loot. And that's going to be at launch site and military tunnels. And so that's actually pretty awesome there. So you'll see here, we need to turn on power, which gives us access to this timer. So there goes the timer and you got to fly all the way over here to be able to use it. So once we're here, you can go ahead and access, all right? Then there's another generator over here. Once you've turned that on, you're then able to get to the next area. And it would be this area, and once again, yeah, it's not filled with any loot. As Alistair to the rescue, he messaged me a command to refresh the loot, and it worked. So as you can see, there's a couple of spawn points here usually. Uh, we've got a crate right there. Let's float around. And uh, let's see, if we look around, there's usually a couple here. So yeah, we got another box right here you've got access to. There's a couple barrels around. Uh, but the main loot... Oh, sorry, guys. The main loot stuff is going to be behind these doors. So we come in here, and we've got another crate right here as you come in. And then when you go upstairs, we've got a green crate, another brown, another brown... So yeah, it's uh, just a bunch of kind of like bonus loot boxes locked behind. Uh, these do have chances of being all uh, green crates as well. I came in here once and it was all green crates except for one brown one. So it just kind of changes back and forth, which is pretty cool. But this new system is neat. The nice thing to know is uh, also if the uh, puzzle has been finished, the doors will stay open. So, you know, that way you can kind of tell if someone's already looted it or not without investing your time into it. Because key cards only have 10 uses before they break. So you do want to, you know, make sure you hold on to them. It's good to, you know, not have to waste them. So that's kind of nice there. And a lot of people are complaining already. Oh, it's going to be camp, going to be camp. Well, there's so many different ways into these loot areas that as long as you kind of pay attention, you shouldn't have too hard of a time. Okay, guys? So that, that's kind of, you know, what's going on right there. Uh, lastly, the big stuff, uh, there's been some changes and optimizations. If you look into the dev blog, they have switched over to a new version of Unity, which gives them a lot more options. There's new things they can do to optimize the game, new assets, new tools, all that kind of stuff. So they're working on that. It's in its rough stages now. It'll probably take a while before you see any great improvements, but there has been some work done to shadows and so forth. You can look at the details in the dev blog linked down in the description below if you want to read about that. Uh, along with that, I have also seen, there's a nice picture here from Mr. Butters of the new C4 model, which actually looks like its icon now. I'm excited to see that. I don't know when it will be put into game. Also, a lot of times when things get a new model, it usually means they're skinnable. So who knows? Maybe a skinnable C4 sometime soon? Speaking of other awesome things from Thomas, we've got this raft. This raft or canoe, as it's referred to, I believe, in some of the patch notes, isn't fully implemented yet. It's meant to be the first craftable tier of boats. Not sure when we'll see it in. Don't have any other information on that. But it's still floating around up in the air. And the most important thing, or the most exciting thing, I should say, of this entire little dev blog, besides the new puzzles, is the jackhammer. People have been asking forever 
and uh, there's a little plan to use survey charges to do some blast mining and this and that and they weren't sure if they were going to do a uh, equivalent to the chainsaw well enough people clamored for it to where i think they seriously considered it and here it is there's the jackhammer guys it runs on fuel just like the chainsaw as soon as it is usable in game i will definitely do a video covering it i'm very excited to see it and uh, that pretty much covers everything big for rust so i don't know about you but i'm very excited about the jackhammer and the bandit town the puzzles are something really cool i can't wait to see as it grows and balances uh through people testing it and through you know positive feedback or constructive criticism you know you don't always have to be a jerk and uh well that a lot of times this gets you ignored anyways so come on guys let's give some constructive criticism at the very least about all of these new changes guys and uh you know give the rust devs some slack because they are really really awesome people that work hard so go say hi and thank you and sorry if you yelled at them <laughs> because they're real people too and uh yeah that's gonna cover it for this update i hope you guys enjoyed it I know I'm very excited to jump in and start playing around with this. Uh, keep an eye out for those tutorial videos covering the full span of the monuments. And uh, yeah, we will be back next week with whatever new information there is. And of course, our skins. If you haven't seen it, I posted my skin video yesterday as the new skins came out. So be sure to check that out and see what they look like in-game before you purchase them. Leave me a like, guys. Please share this video with everyone you know, including your pets, your family, your grandma, your grandma's uncles, dogs, cats, cousin. And we will see you later. Have a great weekend.